Hey, what's up? This is Christian from Cibrinos Addiction. Uh, and this past weekend, me and my wife, we went to spend a really relaxed weekend fishing at M Alone Park in Austin. My favorite place to go fishing because it's, fishing is great. It's, it's a beautiful place and my wife enjoyed to be there. It's just a really nice place to get out of the city and uh, we had a great session, we had a great weekend, Saturday we fish all day, we, the action is it's kind of slow, it's winter, but we got some good fish, uh, my wife actually scored a 26 pound grass carp, uh, Jose Cross, my friend over there from Austin, got his PV 27 pound common carp, and I got a really pretty 18 pound, uh, you know, all these river fish, they fight great. So check the pictures, and uh, I have another subject that I want to show to uh, another. All right, the subject of today's video. Uh, because I didn't record nothing on Austin this past weekend, I was just enjoying myself. Uh, but I do want to share the pictures and the catches. That's what I just, I just did. But right now, <clears throat> I want to uh, share a little recipe that Keith from uh, Card Pro uh, shared to me the other day. Uh, something that works for him really good on the winter. Right now, uh, you see the steam right here. I'm cooking some tiger nuts. This is the same bag that I have used in other videos. So I'll see, see more. It's uncooked tiger nuts. And the advantage of having tiger nuts, uh, non-cooked tiger nuts, is that you can experiment with your flavors to see what really works in your water. Uh, I have an upcoming session that we're gonna be targeting some buffaloes. So I was talking with Keith and Keith said, Chris, I'm gonna give you this uh, recipe, a uh, little hint to target buffaloes. And he's, I don't know, on his experience, that's worked for him. So uh, right now, the tiger are cooking, they're almost done. I'm gonna show you in a little bit what I'm gonna be doing and what flavors we're using. So, how I mentioned before, when you cook tiger nuts yourself at your house, the way that you know uh, if the tiger nuts are cooked is simple. You squeeze to them, and if you can put your fingertip, fingernails on it and break it, like I just did with this one, they're cooked. Uh, they will absorb the flavor that you put. So, that here is empty container to where I'm gonna put the tiger nuts. I have saved a little bit of the water when I cook the tiger nuts. This already has all the sugars and natural flavor from the tiger nuts, which is tiger nut and self work just great in any type of water. But you always wanna maximize when it's winter, when the fish are slow and you need to antagonize fish to eat more. Uh, let me show you the flavors. All right, so what I have here is scope from the premium series of Car Pro. Uh, it's a clear, really highly attractive scent, classic in all car fishing and any brand that you will look, they had their own uh, version of Scopex. Uh, 
This is the natural water. And the king of the session, natural crab. Uh, we all know the carbs and buffalo oil eat snails, uh, eat crawfish on their natural habitat. So we want to put down there something that will attract them in their natural instinct. This is the bag of uh, CC Moore uncooked tiger nuts. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the tiger nuts in here. We're gonna soak it with the scope and the natural crab and then fill up the rest of the, of the container with their natural water. This right here has a regular, you know, natural flavors and sugar from tiger nut. Uh, let's put it. So a really small batch will fill up a small container. This, I don't know how many ounces this container is, but less than a handful will make a lot of tiger nuts. So this right here will last you forever. And that will last me forever. Mm -hmm. So, First, I'm gonna add the natural crab. All right. And scope So right now, I have almost all the uh, tiger nut soaking in these two flavors. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of the water. Just to completely uh, cover the tiger nut. I'm gonna shake it, make sure all the oils, the water, and you know the two flavors mixed together. See how it's now. Oh my god, it's strong. Awesome. So this is the gonna be the secret third recipe on my next session. Uh, it's a quick video. Uh, we def I definitely recommend you to try Car Pro uh, products. They're local. Support your local retailers. Support your local people. Uh, they're made in the United States. Uh, and uh, Scopex is really famous. Uh, but if you have a body of water, like here in Texas, they have plenty of crawfish. Land this nail and shells on the natural body of water. You always want to do something natural like craft flavor. So, that's the two flavors for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you try this recipe, make put a comment below. Uh, if you have any other suggestions on how to cook tiger nut, um, just put, a, put me a, a comment down there. And uh, thanks for watching. If you're not a fiction, stay tuned.